Welcome back, Sawyers. We are excited to soon welcome our students back to in-person learning using our phased-in hybrid plan. We want to assure you that the health and safety of our students and staff is our number one priority. We have spent the past several months carefully preparing to resume in-person learning, and we want to give you a glimpse of what health and safety protocols to expect when the buildings reopen to students. First and foremost, masks are required for all individuals who ride our buses or enter the buildings, and they must be worn in a manner that completely covers the mouth and nose. If anyone forgets their mask or needs another one throughout the day, our bus drivers, teachers, and security monitors have a supply available. Mask breaks will be given. Neck gaiters and bandanas will not be allowed. Every person entering any of our buildings goes through a temperature screening process at entrances. Reminder, students who have a fever at home should stay home until they are fever free for 24 hours without fever reducing medicine. If you are sick, please stay home. In addition, all adults are also required to answer a series of health screening questions before entering any of our buildings. Students will be periodically screened with the health screening questions, and visitors will be limited to essential business only and will be by appointment only. We are following all Centers for Disease Control social distancing protocols. Classroom layouts were reconfigured to space desks to meet social distancing needs. Floor signage has been added to remind students of social distancing and students will be instructed to follow keep right traffic patterns. Restroom occupancy is limited and students cannot congregate in the rooms. To prevent congestion, gym and hallway lockers will not be used this year. Bus capacity is reduced and students will sit in a staggered pattern with only one rider per seat unless students are from the same household. Loading will occur in a back to front pattern unless a student has an exception due to safety needs and students will disembark from front to back. Abundant signage and posters are clearly visible in all our hallways and classrooms to remind everyone of the safety precautions they should be following. Our staff has been trained and students will be instructed on the health and safety protocols in place. Hand sanitizing stations are located in all screening areas and hallways throughout all the buildings and hand washing and hand sanitizing will be encouraged throughout the day. We have implemented extensive cleaning processes so that highly touched surfaces like door handles, stair railings, desks, and chairs are frequently sanitized. Buses are also cleaned and disinfected before and after each run. State-of-the-art mist sprayers are used daily to disinfect and sanitize surfaces. Weather permitting, windows will be open to circulate fresh air and the ventilation systems were inspected and the highest rated MERV filters that our systems can accommodate were installed. At the elementary school, students will have breakfast and lunch in their classrooms. A breakfast bag will be given to students as they enter the building, lunch will be delivered, and masks may be removed while eating since students will remain socially distanced. At the junior and high school, students will get their meals from socially distanced, one-way serving lines. Larger spaces, such as the cafeterias and gymnasium, are being repurposed to provide additional space for socially distanced eating. Students will be seated at individual desks. Pickup times will be staggered to alleviate congestion. Parents will be provided with specific instructions, and students will be dismissed one bus at a time as each bus arrives. Remember, it is important for us to take care of each other. We urge everyone that if you feel sick, please stay home. However, a school nurse will always be present on site to deal with any health issues that may arise. If someone arrives with a temperature above 100.1 or expresses that they are not feeling well while on campus, teachers and or administrators will notify the health office and the nurse will meet the student in a specified location to evaluate their symptoms prior to having access to the health office. Nurses have extensive personal protective equipment available and a private designated space for comfortably isolating individuals with symptoms has been designated until parents can come pick them up. In the event that we do have positive cases in our school community, we have worked closely with the Ulster County Department of Health to identify contact tracing protocols and will be in immediate communication with them so the appropriate protocols can be initiated. 
We appreciate the trust you have placed in us by sending your child back to school. Please be assured that we are taking all steps available to create the safest learning environment possible for our students and staff. It is important that we all do our part to limit the spread of illness. Please be patient and cooperative as we adjust to these important changes. We can't wait to see you all in person soon. Go Sawyers!